the fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins, go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. Got some more passing plays, a passing scheme for you guys out of the Niners playbook. The Niners playbook is probably my favorite team playbook. I was using it before I started using the pistol book, and it's the playbook that once I'm done having fun with the pistol playbook, I'm going to go back to. Uh, it's one of the largest ebooks I've made. It's close to 50 pages now since I've recently updated all my ebooks. Uh, it's also, uh, I think the Raiders is probably in the same range. They're both around 50 pages long, uh, and they both have this formation, the formation I'm going to highlight today. So whether you use the Niners or the Raiders, you should get a benefit from today's video. Uh, but the I form close, that's the formation. I want to focus on since the latest patch, uh, the February patch, where they really patch cover three and cover three has kind of become one of the meta uh, defenses now. I really feel like the iPhone close is one of the best formations to hit one play touchdowns against, especially uh, the play that I'm going to show you first, which is going to be the PA tight end leak. Now, in my opinion, this for this play right here can home run just about any uh, zone coverage in the game. Uh, without a doubt, I'm going to have extra plays on my Patreon and on my join out community tab. So if you want to see the full breakdown of this offense, I probably got like eight or nine plays that I use. Uh, Make sure you check that out. Link in the description below. But for now, let's go and let's pick the PA tight end leak. On the defensive side, I'm going to try to hit myself with a cover four. I hope that the uh, the Cardinals playbook has a good cover four in here. Uh, but we're going to start off with cover three anyway. So let's go ahead and let's pick uh, cover three sky just to start. Now, before I get into this video, as always, this video is brought to you by coin sponsors at MOXP.com. If you're trying to get your mud team up like mine, make sure to check them out. Link in the description below. Use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Now, the only caveat for this play to work against cover three uh and this is different than other cover three plays that i put out in the past the other cover three plays i put out you had to flat out run it from the from the hash mark for it to work a lot of cover three beaters work very well from the hash mark one of the reasons i really like this play is because you don't have to run from the hash mark but you do have to run to the open side of the field so just the slightest um you know you don't have to be all the way to the hash which obviously can be a problem but being anywhere in the center of the field will work you just have to make sure that you run it to the open side of the field every time and then as far as the setup go i mean you you gotta love this setup it can't be easier all i'm gonna do is streak the tight end and streak the x route that's all you have to do there's no other adjustments needed uh you have a good check down here which is going to be uh the fullback so if you have um you know anybody is uh sending uh you know say you get you get shedded you get an instant shed whatever you have that check down obviously that wasn't a huge pickup but a lot of times you'll have this uh fullback in the flat you can even motion this fullback out to get him a little bit more of a head start and then you can see you could steal 10 to 12 against off coverages like cover three and cover four over and over and over but i'm going for the one play touchdown it's a super easy one play touchdown anyway all i have to do is streak these two guys and the x route here is going to be a, uh, a super quick one play touchdown over the top of cover three now you can see he's going by like five to ten yards there he's not even a super fast receiver we'll go to the replay real quick just to show you guys what to look for because i get people in, in the comment section saying this isn't working and i think it's really based off of timing or maybe they're fading instead of streaking i'm not 100 percent sure but you have to watch this cornerback here this cornerback here is basically going to go stride for stride with this guy to a point you can see right here he's going stride for stride with it but you can see it already starts to kind of go into like a little jog the second he slows down you just you're basically just loading up you, you just you're just gonna watch that cornerback that's all you're doing it's a real simple read i'm not i'm just not looking at anybody else i'm watching that cornerback the second i see him start to slow down i'm loading up and i was probably late here i probably could have threw this a little bit earlier as you can see i mean he comes to if i wait he comes to a complete stop because essentially the way the cover three works now is that he's going to react to this uh this slant coming across the field even though that guy's essentially double covered i mean this is a total glitch like what else could this be if you have a guy that's coming across being double covered by two guys why would that cornerback stop but that's exactly what happens so the second he stops you're just bullet and passing away from the safety who then becomes the closest guy he's the only guy who's actually running and it's you know it's just a super easy one play touchdown and the only thing I would say is, you know, put slide your protection to the left as well. I like to slide my protection in the direction which I'm going to throw. It just makes it a little bit easier for me um, to get this this throw off. Like, say I don't have enough arm strength. I'm not using Patrick Mahomes here. I'm using Jimmy G. You can see we got plenty of arm strength there. And that was a ton of separation. Now, this is also a really good cover four one play touchdown. I'm going to go ahead and pick that. Now, by cover four, I don't mean cover four match. There's cover four match, and then there's cover four drop. Cover four drop or cover four contain, sometimes it's called. But basically, you can see the difference. I'm talking about the one with the dark purples for people that have uh, issues following me on that. So we're going to go with the cover four drop here. 
this here does not have match principles. Now, the only thing I'm really going to do, motion this guy out. Um, I can put the A route here on a block. I can put the B route here on a smoke. Uh, and the fullback, I don't really need. That's all I really need. I mean, I can put the A route on a drag if I want to check down. These are pretty much the only things that you need to set up to make this play work. And then you can see this guy here. He's just going to cross, uh, you know. And once again, I mean, we're getting really um, a lot of separation here. Where I am on the field doesn't really matter either. That's not important when it comes to the cover four play. But all I'm really doing, I'm just basically uh, shortening these routes so that uh, nothing pulls these safeties back. The second this, this route shortens, you're going to see there's nothing to draw these guys uh, backwards, which is why they get beat, because they essentially come to a stop as well. Um, as you can see, there's nothing really in their area, so they just kind of lays in that area. Now, this guy here, he's coming across screaming. The second he gets inside of the safety, it's the same thing. Bullet and pass through away from that safety. That's all I really need to do. And I was probably a little late on that throw. You can see I'm already starting to wind up. But you can see those guys, they can't flip their hips and get back there quick enough to make a, make a play. So it's really about waiting once this guy gets inside the safety and then bullet and passing away from that same safety. You can see we got an easy one-play touchdown again. And then, like I said, I mean, you have, you know, I, I left myself a series of checkdowns. I leave myself plenty of blocking. You can slide your protection to the right this time because that's the direction that I'm going. They have a pretty good pass rusher in that direction. And then you can see there's nothing really over there. There's nothing uh, to guard against this. You can see, once again, I'm getting a ton of separation. Uh, and these aren't very fast receivers at all, but you can see it's working out really well. Now, cover four match is another uh, covers that I find is getting very popular. A lot, largely might be due to this channel. I know I've been pushing cover four match for a very long time as one of the better uh, defenses in the game so let's go and let's pick cover four quarters cover four palms it doesn't really matter just anything that shows um you know cover four quarters cover four palms are all the same just as long as you have matching principles now this play is going to be a little bit different the only thing that's really going to change here uh, is i want to motion one of these guys either the rb route or the y route over now the rb route doesn't go very far um, if I really want to motion out uh, the running back, he'll go a bit farther. So I'll just motion him out. He's better. Put him on a comeback. Uh, and then block the running back. Put the A route on. I'm just going to put everybody else on curls. I'm going to put the A route on a curl. The B route, I can put on anything like an out route. Just give myself a check down. It doesn't really matter. But you can go all curls. The curls are going to be the most important part. Uh, and then the X route is really going to be the home run route once again. As you can see, he just kind of gets inside. He's basically in a one-on-one, -on -one and we just get a very easy one-play touchdown over the top. That's one way to do it. Now, if you want to get a little bit more separation, which obviously you do, if you smart route this X route, I find it does a better job. It'll get open quicker, uh, and it'll get open... It'll just get open better. So, once again, putting these uh, other routes all on curls, or like I said, you can put the B route and an out route, smart route them, something like that. Doesn't really matter. That's going to give you another good option, though. And then we're going to have the same effect when it comes to this X route. As you can see, these, these cornerbacks just can't really handle those routes. Uh, or these safeties, rather, I should say, can't really handle those routes. Against cover two, I'm going to mirror that look. I'm going to motion this guy out and put him on a streak. That's all I really need to do. Against cover two zone. Then I'm going to block the fullback because he's not really doing anything. Put the B route on a flat and put the A route on a smart route. This is just going to spread the cover two safeties as widely apart as possible. Uh, and then I basically just want to bullet. I'm sorry, not bullet, but uh, pass lead up once he makes that break. As you can see right there, we just split those safeties. When it comes to man coverages, based off of the formation, a lot of times you'll have inside releases uh, with your receivers. So on a play like this, all I have to do is put the X route here on a smart route. You can see before I smart route him, he's breaking at about 15 yards or more. If I smart route him, it'll break to um, 10 yards if you're a first and 10, second and 10, whatever. And in that scenario, you'll get an instant easy throw uh, inside the, the man coverage cornerback. So you can steal that all game. And there's other routes that I'm going to show you in other plays where the receiver breaks outside so your opponent won't be able to uh, key in on this. So to me, that's a really good look. Uh, and then, like I said, I don't even like, since it's such a quick play, I like the pass block the running back. I don't even like to do um, you know the play action there because this is instant. You can just snap that up and steal that all game. And I'm getting 20 yards like nothing uh, with this reach. So that's a really good setup. It's not going to one play cover two, cover two man but it's going to be a very big play against cover two man. And then obviously against cover one man, uh, you just push, you know, I'm just going to put the A route on the street just to pull that safety back, and you have some pretty good routes uh, options to the other two receivers. I would say the B route's probably a little bit better. So against cover two man, I would say the X route. Against uh, cover one man, I would say the B route. Just basically streak the A route, which I just messed up, uh, but that's okay because, like I said, this is going to be, <laughs> it's going to work either way. You don't have to streak the tight end. You can leave this tight end doing what he's doing. 
but you have your crossers against pretty much any man coverage. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.